everyone. Welcome to Chinese Pod. I'm Shirley. 大家好，欢迎来到 Chinese Pod 的课程。我是 Peter. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about movies. And the super exciting thing is, we're going to learn a lot of colloquial terms、uh, that are very popular and used by teenagers and young adults. So. Next time, when you're in China or while you're with your Chinese friends, you're gonna fit in right like a local. So, if you were talking to the locals, what kind of movie would you tell them you love? 喜剧电影 comedies. That's my favorite. Ah, see, I would have taken you for a 恐怖电影 kind of girl. You know, horror films. I don't do well with horror, psycho. All I mean, no, 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 no. No, no, not, no, not the, not no, the, no, 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 no. No. Okay. <laughs> comedy, comedy. This <laughs> comedy is a safe bet. Well, then let's take a listen to today's dialogue. 最近刚上映了一部喜剧，我听说超好看的。对啊，这部电影天天上微博热搜，大家都说值得去看。评论说故事很搞笑，结尾也很感人。我朋友圈都被这部电影刷屏了，听说很多人都看哭了，而且主角都是小鲜肉，颜值高，演技也特别棒。现在工作压力那么大，我们不如下班一起去看，顺便放松一下。好啊，我们去贡献一下票房。他们才不稀罕呢，我看网上说。这部电影特别卖座，票房都快破纪录了。这么厉害，我们赶紧约时间去看吧。Okay, so now let's break down the dialogue.、Mm. So friend A says, 最近刚上映了一部喜剧，我听说超好看的。A new comedy movie was just released recently. I heard that it's super good. 对呀、啊，这部电影天天上微博热搜，大家都说值得去看。Yeah, this movie has been on the Weibo list every day. Everyone says it's worth watching. 评论说，故事很搞笑，结尾很感人。The comments said the movie was hilarious. And also, the ending was very moving. My friends' accounts have been shared by this movie. I've heard many people have been crying. My newsfeed was flooded with posts about this movie, and a lot of people even said they cried watching it. And the main characters are small heads, young heads, and the acting is very good. The protagonists in the movie are all little fresh meats. They're handsome and their acting is great. Now, work pressure is so big, we should go to the office together and relax. It's so stressful nowadays at work, so why don't we go after work to relax a bit? Okay, let's go to the box office to donate. Okay, let's go contribute a little bit at the box office. They are not worried about it. I saw the internet say that this movie is very popular. They wouldn't care. I saw online that the movie sold very well. They're about to beat the box office record. So good! Let's go to the box office to watch the movie. Well, that's amazing. Let's hurry up and schedule a time to go see it. Well, now that we've heard the dialogue a few times, let's get right down to the discussion. Sounds good. Awesome. Well, I'd start with there are a couple different ways to say movie in Chinese, just as there are in English. Like how in English we say movie or film, in Chinese you can say 电影电影 or 影片影片 Yeah. So if we want to refer to a film by its genre, we say 影片 But we can drop the yin. So, for example,、um, a comedy. Comedy will be 喜剧喜剧片 mm -hmm. So we don't have to say 喜剧影片 We can just say 喜剧片 a comedy film. Or if it's an action film, 
动作片、mm-hmm. ，or my favorite genre horror，、mm-hmm. 恐怖片。And it's interesting to note that you can actually also say, 喜剧电影 if you want to say it that way, 喜剧电影 or 恐怖电影 or 动作电影 That's also fine as well. Yeah, and then also,、um, if we want to exaggerate, if we want to say something's really good, not just good, we can add the word 超、mm-hmm. 超 right? Something's 超好 super good, really good.、Mm-hmm. So, for example. You know, if I was eating something really delicious,、mm. I can say, "This is really good. This is really good." And also in the dialogue, we heard the term "shang re so." So "re so" in Chinese is basically a term that refers to something that's a very trending, widely searched hot topic. That's "re so." So it's commonly used in association with things like Weibo. Which is basically the Chinese version of Twitter.、Mm-hmm. One of the most popular online platforms. So、yeah. their hot topics, or you know, their top search list is constantly changing depending on what's the most popular, what's the most talked about thing at the、mm. time. Yeah. So if you hear something like blah blah blah. 天天上热搜，上热搜。上热搜 ，Yeah. <laughs>、uh, yeah it, it means it's a super popular trending topic in China. So what is that again? It's 天天上热搜 Yeah. It's yeah. 天天上热搜 Ah. Hot search, yeah. So, and then there's a word, 值得 okay. If so, something's 值得 it means、um, is it worth it, right? 值 means value. So, 值得不值得 is it、mm. worth it or not?、Mm. So, for example, I can ask, hey, 这个包包值得这个价吗、mm. 这个包包 this bag, 值得这个价吗 Is it worth that price? And then I can say, 不值得，不值得 It's not worth it. Um, 很值得 It's really <laughs> worth it. 我的包包都很值得 All my bags are worth it. They are beautiful, but they're also a little expensive. <laughs> Anyways, then we have 评论说，故事很搞笑，结尾也很感动啊。Uh, sorry, 感人。感人 ，Yeah. So talking about、mm. 感人感动 ，What's the difference、mm. between 感人 and 感动 ？Well, I'm glad you asked, since I almost confused it myself. <laughs>、uh, so the difference between 感人 and 感动，感人 is when you have、uh, an incident, event, or situation that touches you. So you're touched by a certain specific event、right. that has happened.、Um, and when you use the term 感动，感动 ，it's more like Uh, you're the focus of it. You're the one feeling moved or touched, right? Without a specific event, right? So I can say, 结尾很感人 or I can also say, 结尾很感动 They both make sense.、Mm. And I could say, 我被感动了 However, I could not interchange it and say. 我被感染了 because、right. in that situation there's no specific incident、uh, or, or the focus is not on a specific event.、Right. It's on you. Right. 朋友圈 So that literally means 朋友 is friends,、mm-hmm. right? Friend. 圈 means、um, a circle or a group. 朋友圈朋友圈 is、um, a feature on WeChat, 微信、mm-hmm. WeChat. It's like、um, one、mm-hmm. of the most popular sort of、um, messaging sort of program in China, like Chinese Facebook、abuse. or something. Yeah, like yeah.、Uh, or WhatsApp,、mm-hmm. sort of like WhatsApp. 朋友圈 Next time you hear that, you'll know you can either refer to the literal meaning of Their friendship group, or、mm. most likely, is referring to their WeChat friend group.、Mm. And speaking of social media, another important term is schwa. So schwa literally means to brush or to scrub.、Mm-hmm. Uh, but in this context,、uh, we're saying schwa ping, which basically means to be flooded or spammed with many similar posts on your newsfeed about the same thing. So、uh, you can use schwa ping. Swapping in this example、um, to say flooded on your newsfeed with a particular topic or subject, or you can also use it if you're getting tons of texts from your friend and they're blowing up your phone and your screen's covered in their messages. You're basically being spammed or swapping by your friend. Yeah, or、well, I mean, it happens a lot with group chats, right? Right. I mean, by the time you read it, there's like a hundred something messages. Oh、know? my god, I can never keep up. What's up?、Yeah. <laughs> oh, crazy. So. 
Shuaiping usually has a more negative connotation to it, mm. right? However, in this case, um, it, 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 it doesn't have that negative connotation mm. because it just means that this movie is so popular that it's just blowing up on social media. Mm, right. So the next point that appears in our dialogue is an important grammar point, artia. So artia is a conjunctive adverb in mm. our dialogue uh, that's being used at the start of the sentence, um, which means moreover. Right. So, for example, um, I can say, She's smart. She's very smart. Mm. As well, she also works really hard. Mm. So, in this example, is actually being used as a conjunction and. Mm -hmm. In our next sentence, there may be two words that you're not particularly familiar with. And the reason for that is it's probably not taught in the classroom or in books or in lessons. Why? And that's because xiao xian rou, xiao xian rou, or little fresh meat, <laughs> and yan zhi, yan zhi, appearance, are two terms that largely originated from the internet. And xiao xian rou, is a term that's usually used to describe, you know, young adult, very attractive male celebrities. Xiao xian rou. Xiao xian So if you ever hear the word xiao xian rou, or if someone ever describes you as xiao xian rou, it's a compliment. Mm. Right. Yan zhi, yan zhi is a term that's used to describe someone's appearance. So you might be used to terms um, to describe beautiful women, such as Mei or piao liang. Mm -hmm. Mei, piao liang both mean beautiful or to describe a man as handsome, shuai, shuai. However, uh, more and more popular these days is to use the term yan zhi uh, and to say someone's very attractive, yan zhi gao or yan zhi di, not so attractive. Because gao means high, right. di means low. Right. So yan zhi. The literal meaning of it is yen is your appearance. Mm. Zhi, as discussed earlier, means value. So yen zhi literally means the value of your appearance. Right. And then as we continue our dialogue, we see the uh, words or the grammar point, mm -hmm. buru. So buru is used in a sentence where you're looking to make a suggestion to do something different than what's already been suggested or discussed. So by saying 我们不如下班一起去看。我们不如下班一起去看。I'm I'm giving you a suggestion to watch it after work. Mm. 我们不如,let's, you know, let's rather, 下班一起去看。Watch the film after work. Right. And then if I wasn't really feeling like watching it after work, I might want to use 不如 to give an alternative suggestion. Mm -hmm. So I might say something like, 我们不如明天再去吧. Yeah. 我们不如明天再去吧. Why don't we go tomorrow instead? So, you know, the reason why sometimes we might want to go to the movies is because we want to relax a little. Sure. 放松. Mm -hmm. And 一下, if you want to add a little, 一下 means a little. Mm -hmm. 放松一下, let's relax a little. Um, another way of saying, this, you know, another example can be Hey, woman Let's have a quick peek. Let's have a quick look mm. and then we'll leave. Woman mm. That makes sense. So Isha. So I guess when we look at the words that are used next in the dialogue, Gong Xian. Gong Xian, which means to contribute, and then Piao Fang. Piao Fang, the box office. And they're used in conjunction with the word 一下. So, 贡献一下. That literally means to contribute just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, 贡献一下票房. Mm. Let's contribute a little to the box office. Right. But then, um, you know, the friend says, 他们才不稀罕呢. Mm. Basically, they really wouldn't care too much about our chump change because the movie's already ahead. It's making millions and millions of dollars. So uh, <laughs> in this case, uh, well, Shihan literally means rare, uh, but 
it's also used in colloquial terms to say you really care or you, yeah, you care a lot about something. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not something you would really write in an essay, um, but it's used to express in yeah. you know, dialogue that you care about something. So mm. they wouldn't care. They, mm. don't, they don't care that much. Right. So mai literally means to sell, zuo meaning seat. So mai zuo means to sell a seat, right? To sell seats. Mm. But um, when we say something hen mai zuo, right? It means um, something is so popular that it's selling really fast. And usually it refers to a movie cinema or entertainment venue or right. a restaurant. And if something isn't really selling along the same lines, you can just say bu mai zuo, bu mai zuo. Mm -hmm. It's not selling a lot of seats or it's really the movie's just not doing well. And then um, by adding the word kuai in front of something, so for example, piao fang do kuai po ji lu la. Piao fang, the box office, do kuai po ji lu la. Mm. Po ji lu means to break the record. Do kuai po ji lu la means it's about to sell out, it's about to break the record. It's, you know, mm. it, it means, because kuai means fast. Mm. I have another way of using that same idea. Yeah. Wo kuai po chan la. <laughs> well, quite poor Chandler. I'll be bankrupt soon. I hope not. <laughs> I, Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I also hope not. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, finally, sadly, we're coming to the last part of today's dialogue. So when we use the term gan jing, mm. gan jing means to quickly, to, we want something to be um, done quickly. So by saying, mm. let's, let's schedule a time fast. Let's quickly schedule a time. Woman Ganji Yeshujian. Or I could say something like Woman Ganjin Jia Shuba. Woman Ganjin Jia Shuba. Let's finish quickly. Chima Jojia. Hoba. Zijin Gangshang Yingla, Ibu Si Ju. What Ting Shu Chao Hao Kanda. Doya. Chopu Dia Ying, Tin Tin Shang Wei Bo Jo So. Daja Do Shu Ju De Chu Kan. Ting Lun Shu. 故事很搞笑他们才不稀罕呢。我看网上说，这部电影特别卖座，票房都快破纪录了。这么厉害，我们赶紧约时间去看吧。So now that we're done with the lesson, I think uh, 小鲜肉 and I, <laughs> 颜值高, <laughs> uh, might go watch the film. Sounds like a good plan to me. I'm hoping that we get to see your favorite kind. Oh, God. 恐怖电影. <laughs> 喜剧电影, 喜剧片. All right. A, a touching one, too. A 感人的喜剧片. All right. We'll, we'll do a comedy this time. Okay, we'll sounds do something good. like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much for tuning into Chinese Pod. It's been a really fun lesson. I'm Peter. I'm Shirley. And 下次见. 下次见. 再见. Mm -hmm.